Okay, so uh, in this video I'm just going to go through how to find the equation of a normal to a line uh, at a point. So um, just like in that previous video I did where it had the equation of the tangent, um, we're going to be finding the equation of a straight line. So uh, as you can see here on the right, we are going to need to find this, y equals mx plus c. So we need to find the gradient and also that y-intercept. Now um, the gradient we can find again through differentiating to get that um, formula or the uh, gradient function and then we can just go from there. So uh, our first step will be to differentiate. So y dash is going to be 6x squared minus 4 and uh, to find the gradient at the point 2, 8 we substitute in the x-coordinate which will give us 6 times 2 squared minus 4, so that is 24 minus 4, 20. Okay, so that's the gradient of the, the line at that point. Now what we're after though is the normal. Now the, uh, the normal is at right angles, and so if you imagine, I'll just draw this over here, if that was our 20, in fact that's nowhere near 20, let me just try it again, so there's our gradient of 20, a normal will actually come through that at right angles like so. Now uh, while well, that can look a little bit complicated it's pretty simple to find the gradient of a normal where all you do is you take the reciprocal and you change the sign. So the gradient of our normal is actually going to be negative 1 over 20. So uh, you can see all we've done is we have flipped 20 so it becomes 1 over 20 and we've changed the sign so it's now a negative. So that's given us our gradient. So, so far our equation looks like this. y equals negative 1 20th of x plus c. And again we do know a point that lies on that line. We know the point 2, 8 lies on that line. And uh, we know at that point x is 2 and y is 8. So if we substitute those two values into our equation, it would mean the only thing we can we have left is the c. So I'll put in y is 8, I'm going to have negative 1 20th times 2, and plus c. And if I just work my way through this, because that's not a very nice number at all, that's negative 2 20th plus c. Now, um, 2 20th is actually 1 10th, so that's actually quite nice. So 1 10th plus c, and then if we add 1 10th to both sides, we'll know that c is now equal to 8 and 1 10th. Or we could also rewrite that as 81 10th. So now we have the second part of our equation, which gives us our final answer, which I'll put down the bottom. y equals negative 1 20th of x plus 81, oh, not over 20, sorry about that, 81 over 10, and there you have it.